major slice in the bed in my blanket. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Sunday. Ooh, ooh, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. I had fun with you guys last night. We had a blast. We had a good time. Really? Alright, what's the issue? What's the issue? We just got cut three of wands. <clears throat> I was talking. He's talking, baby. He's talking. How's those apples? Are they on the wet those cold? Those are like my favorite ones. Those are the Fuji ones. Alright. Sunday vibes. Whoa! Freaking serious, dude. <laughs> who are you talking to? The person who dropped the apple? apple? Yeah, I know you dropped your apple. I said, are you freaking serious? I know, I heard. To hey. myself, not I, to you. Well, I know that, but I'm laughing because... Well, then why'd you ask him? You did it yourself. That's why I said... Buckets. Well, nice shot, but that was a waste. It could have got rinsed off. No. Don't waste. Boy, bruised. So. <sighs> okay. I feel like I should start over, but that will happen again. You might be dealing with the Pisces. Um, got the world at the bottom of the deck. There might be a delay that might be over soon. Or someone's going to stop procrastinating really soon. Or someone's finally going to not sacrifice and continue to do what they're, they are they're doing. <clears throat> Whoa, okay. So you have the King of Wands with the High Priestess. This masculine energy is just kind of like dazing, sitting around, chilling, watching TV, minding their business. Definitely got some thoughts of the High Priestess. This is an energy. I think you're dealing with a masculine that's just as spiritual, like in their own way. They know they're dealing with high priestess energy. If it doesn't happen to be that, this king of wands could be holding a secret. Reminds me of the Book of Shadows. I don't know what that's regarding. Got the Hierophant. Secret relationship. I feel like there's a gift here. I don't know what that's regarding. If this person seems to be like a sorcerer. It could be another lifetime. Because my finger just, like, lost control. You see it? Like, I can't control it. <laughs> um, now my hand's, like, shaky. That's really weird. Huh. It's not anxiety. It's related to him. I don't know if it's a nerve thing. I think it's more of like a, a, a sorcery thing. A lot of major arcana, guys. A lot of, like, it, it's almost like something could be out of this person's hands in general. But there's too much major arcana here. It's, there's nothing practical. No practical action being taken. I know you guys like don't really like hearing that kind of stuff, but um, extremely intuitive person too. 
Could be a hidden relationship. Tell me about the hangman. Tell me about the hangman. That's too many. Hangman. That was a quick flip. Ace of Swords reversed. This person's not talking. They're not telling you the truth. They're not telling the truth to you, to someone. It's definitely in your presence. Um, so to me, this is somebody either putzing around, you're either dealing with the Pisces that's putzing around, or it's just somebody, like I said, chilling, laid back, not doing nothing, not talking, not speaking the truth, lies. Something's not going to go in their direction, though, with the Wheel of Fortune. Someone, something is going to be left out. Whether it's them or someone else, because th they're definitely not giving someone clarity. It it's almost like being able to have a new start and manifesting something new, but not going after it. Feeling lonely, feeling left out. But that would be their... That would be their own doing. Tell me about the King of Wands. <clears throat> For some of you, with the, the, the thing that first came out with the hangman in the world, that would be somebody... Um, for some of you, delays are over, but there's still the majority of you. It's, it's not like that with whatever the scenario is. The King of Wands. So it's funny I said that because now we, now we have a messenger. So for some, the delay would be is it will be over. <laughs> but I don't like seeing the Ace of Swords reverse like that. That's as somebody who's not not talking, not speaking the truth. King of Wands doesn't really want a commitment. Knight of Wands is somebody who's in and out. Not always. But considering it looks like secrets and something's not being exposed, it doesn't it doesn't look great. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck could be a little bit of this is just Somebody was in and out anyway. Dwelling on the past. Not even like thinking of the past. Legit dwelling. I don't know where this came from. The Knight of Swords pops out. That's along with the Knight of Wands. Okay, so when you do message them, it's going to be short and it's going to be blunt. It's, it's, it's probably not even something you'd want to respond to. I can't even say short and sweet. This would be a message that could be harsh, very short, short message. Like instead of talking about something, you know, it was like, maybe you got a sentence, if that. I don't know what you took from it. It was that type of message. If it was text or something like that. Tell me about the High Priestess. There's the Knight of Cups. And it was reversed, so... Normally this would be somebody hiding their feelings. It's reversed, so it's, it's almost like someone hiding their sorrow. Still not telling somebody how they feel about a situation. You're not getting the full truth of a situation, especially if you guys are interacting. I don't I don't really see negativity troops. It's just it is what it is so far. Tell me about the hierophant. A lot of spiritual um eight of pence reverse. Yeah, this is 
some type of commitment that is is shaky that's not not together there could be something going down with work with this per particular person but they wouldn't be happy about it they would choose if it was a yes or a no they would choose no not to pursue something new they don't want to pursue a new area of study a new job a new opportunity if it's regarding work the message if you if you someone sent you a message it was it wasn't heartfelt or it was harsh somebody laid something out poured their heart out you know with any of the knights or the, any of the cups being reversed has to do with being over emotional but sitting next to the the knight the knight of swords it is <laughs> It's not emotion from the soul, you know, um, it's mental. So I don't think you got that. You could have been the high priestess and poured your heart out. What you got in return, not the full, not the full story. I mean, you could even got short, sweet, okay, period. Okay, exclamation. Okay, dot, dot, dot. All good, dot, dot, dot. All good, period. That's cool. You know, it, it's like that. It's, it's direct, but not, not direct. So don't be, don't be bothered with that if, if that was you. If, if you were the one that poured your heart out, put your soul into something, the message that you got didn't make you feel good. For some of you, if that's the case. Um, if there is a secret relationship, one of them is not working, working out. Someone doesn't want to start something. Or in something. It really just depends on how it goes for you. I feel like this is some type of spiritual work or some type of work with a purpose that somebody is does not want to partake in. With someone else or for themselves. It would change the dynamics of everything and this person's not ready to change any type of dynamics. <clears throat> But this is the night. It's not the feminine. But it's still a lot of emotion because it's reversed. And maybe instead of somebody really telling you how you, they feel, you know, it was just straight to the point. Might have got two sentences. But it's clear as day. Someone's lying to protect something. If someone needs to sacrifice and somebody's not making a sacrifice. Or if somebody needs to change their perspective in the, or the perspective and they're not. But they can't stop thinking about someone else. So that's, it's not out of their hands yet, you know. Um, <clears throat> like it is and it is, it's not. It, this person doesn't want to say nothing about nada. Because if they do, then something comes into reality. It, Like I said, it changes the dynamics, whether it's work or love. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. What's being lied about? Well, there was like a whole bunch. I got the Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Swords reversed. Why is the Ace of Swords reversed? Why is it here? Ten of Pants reversed. Yeah, somebody's putting zero effort into something. Someone could be lying about money, lying about a family situation. If they are in some type of scenario, it's not it's not working out great.
bottom of the deck two of wands yeah some somebody needs to make some some choices yeah. about their their future yeah. they're just not what's up buttercup the first ever crime has just been committed in space oh yeah what's that what what's that i don't know Wait, go go go. It says it there. tell me about the eight of pence Tell me about the eight of pens, please. Whoa, this deck got really funny. The hermit. Yeah, somebody's not saying something. They're secluding themselves. Like, they're not... Yeah, they have a... They could definitely... Um, move forward, heal a situation, it is, they're not. They're just going to stay in hermit mode. They're going to isolate themselves from the situation because they don't want to, they don't want to confront it. This could be a doctor. Lawyer. But I don't see it that way with what the bottom of the deck is telling me. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. Seven of Pence reverse. Yeah, see, it's... They just don't want to put effort into it. It's, it's too much work for somebody. They don't... They can't be bothered. Gives them anxiety. Yeah, there's a connection, but, you know, yada, yada, yada. Alrighty. So, I hope that helps somebody. Um, doesn't look like anything's moving forward. Um, with some type of situation right now. Whether there's a connection, whether there's a feeling, whether there's that. It, it's almost like some of you could be just dealing with stubborn energy. I mean, you could be in a relationship with somebody and that's how your relationship's going right now. You're not on talking terms. If you are, it's this short, you know, to the point attitude. Um, if you're not with anyone, you might have energy like that around you. So just, you know, don't, don't go there. Um, and if you're dealing with somebody like that off and on and that's the way you guys are communicating, then don't bother communicating, you know? Um, it doesn't look like it would get anywhere. You could try, right? But with the Five of Swords and all the other stuff, lack of effort, not wanting to talk, not really wanting to say what really needs to be said, it's why go there? You know what I mean? You'd be probably setting yourself up for... Your own feelings to get hurt in that situation um or you would just continue to guard yourself or block yourself you don't you don't really want to do that either just kind of um go about your business I'm trying to think what else i saw yeah see the king of swords i'm holding at the bottom of the deck you're dealing with somebody who's not talking so save your sanity i guess you know what I mean, jelly beans? Hey, it's only current energy and it's it's not for everyone, you know? So it's, it's only going to last so long, you know? Um, either you work it out or you don't tolerate it. It's, it's really no in between. There's not much wiggle room on the board for any anything to be in between, if that makes sense, you know? So I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Sunday. Um... Let me see if I can pull another quick story. Quick, quick. That's not related to that one. Another story. So you got the five of ones reversed. Not arguing, not dealing with drama. The energy is nice. You know, because it's it's reversed, so not not being stuck in your head, not battling, 
not dealing with drama, not letting something, you know, concern you. Not letting any, a certain type of energy around you get the best of you. So that's a good thing, right? You're not moving forward with some type of situation. Um, <laughs> you definitely think something is just like, mm, no. So much for a new story. Let's just get a couple more. <laughs> Dang. Wow, look at all that fire. If someone's not moving in with someone. Four of Wands is about engagement, moving in, stability, something solid. So something's something's not taking place. If you were going to move, it's a no. If you're going to take a new job, go in a new direction, it's a no. But here's the thing. For some of you, my personal opinion, I think that would be foolish because that's a brand new opportunity, especially with this beautiful energy. And that's stability. That's that's solid. But either you're not looking at it like that or, or they're not. If you ask me, whatever, whoever's making this decision decided not to, you know, it looks like it's going to go out in, in your benefit to not give it any more thought. Because you, it, you're not. It's like, I'm so over it type energy for some of you. You know? I don't see any waiting around. It did have to do with your future. I'll tell you that. Because you you're just missing the three. Two, three, four, five. You know what I mean? But that means you already went through all the... All the stages that whatever you went through, drama, and somebody's not moving forward with their future. If it's regarding two people. Um, again, I don't think you're talking to this person, so we didn't really get a new story. Um, but it, this could be the other energy. I'm not really sure. Or this could be the same energy. It's like, I'm just not dealing with drama not more, no more. We're not moving forward. This household is, is no good. This could be the same exact energy that all of a sudden picks themselves up from a situation and says, you know what, I don't I don't want to argue no more. Like, we can't do this. Like, we can't even live in the same household. Or it's the other way around where they're going to stay in this situation <clears throat> when they have an opportunity to flip their life. Whose energy is the five of wands? Whose energy is the five of wands? Because the five of wands is, is a good energy, especially when it's reversed. You're no longer dealing with, with, with whatever the case may be. All right, so you got the knight of pence. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone who moves really slow. smart about things and they just don't want drama but they also don't want a new beginning so this man this could really go the other like this could really go either way <clears throat> tell me about the two of wands but that's that's a good thing so you got a masculine that's like i don't want to deal i don't want this is the fool i can't even tell how it freaking came out i'm putting it away um that does does that not want to deal with drama, which is fantastic. Tell me about the two of wands. I just don't know how it came out. So even if I laid it down the fool as a cross card, it would still be the same 50-50. Tell me about the two of wands. I want more definitive answers for you guys. There we go. Something's up, right? High Priestess. There's definitely a secret and deception here. The Seven of Swords is underneath the board, underneath the deck. I mean, it could just be somebody sabotaging their own situation. You got the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck again, and it's reversed. This person's keeping something from you. That's why they're not moving forward. They're keeping something from you. 
but we we knew that. Tell me about the four of wands. <clears throat> Eight of wands reversed. They're not talking about it. Okay. So go about what it is you do without letting this bother you because somebody else is not letting anything bother them. Okay. So <clears throat> I hope that helped you guys. I did look down and see 2533. <clears throat> and I don't normally look up numbers like that, but it's almost like telling me to look it up. So it's a message that's going to help somebody. So let's see. Let's see what we get. Jelly beans. Let me get out. I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. Now the phone's dead. What was it? 2533? Can't even. I can't get it off. 2533 encourages you to use your natural, your, your natural intuition to fuel the drive that you feel to better understand a certain situation. To cl clearly make a decision about what you truly want, your wishes, your desires, and take action accordingly. But somebody is not. So if you're this other person, like I said, dealing with this, please go about what it is you would normally do. Um, but I think it's a message for this person. It also encourages you. You know, make sure you use that intuition. And if somebody is, is not using their intuition. They're not they're not using their gut. This is very low vibrating energy. You know? Um, yeah, see, the 2533 is a powerful indication of important life changes that are occurring in your life right now. Changes at this time are daunting and challenging, but rest assured that they are necessary and will be most beneficial on all levels and very long-term promising. Definitely advancement. Something will be absolutely favorable in your life. You got to trust and have confidence, you know, that the angels are assisting in this life change. And we, you know, whomever it is you believe in, we saw that. Something was out of somebody's hands, but somebody doesn't want to accept it. They're, they're fighting something like you wouldn't believe, okay? So... If you're the other person and, you know, this person, that's the person you're dealing with, they're really important to you, I guess give it a little time. But don't forget who you are and, and what's important to you and, and taking care of yourself and going about your daily situation too. Don't let somebody else's energy, don't let this person's energy affect you, okay? This is their, this is their own. It's somebody's not accepting a massive life change and right now is with all the arcana major arcana being here you know you know spirit whomever you believe in really really wants it and it's it's definitely for the best but right now this person not having it not partaking not willing you know but don't lose encouragement if this is who you really love and, and want and see a future with but again please don't let it stop your day-to-day -day activity okay so i hope that helps someone um i love you guys have a fantastic rest of your sunday bye guys